this is video tutorial 2 part 2 uh, we were starting to make a floor to our mat uh, let's make a floor a bit under where the player is going to start uh, you start by click and dragging on one dimension you go to the other dimension and click and drag on one of the points like if you were editing an object in powerpoint or something like that then you right click create object we got our floor uh, made uh, right when you start you're going to add like something like this view wireframe uh, as soon as you you start mapping you would probably want to change it into you click here into 3d text texture add obviously is way better to move the camera on and the camera window uh, while you have the mouse on it click z and then you can move like you have half-life 1 with no clip it's not hard and it's very useful since you can select stuff on the 3d view also uh, also use the z button to get out let's let's search um, texture for a wall for example this one will do just fine let's let's make four walls around it uh, try to make the walls on all on the same height so you won't have leaks uh, because if you have a leak to nowhere you're going to have a lot of bugs and you don't know you don't want that mainly because we are porting this to the Dreamcast the Dreamcast uh, hasn't ran enough to allow bugs no, we, we want the ceiling uh, this one? we'll do or this one Uh, if you make an object inside of, an, of another object uh, there will be a bug, it's not such a big deal but either way try not to make that mistake because you're going to have a lot of errors if you do so we made a simple room let's go save our file uh, when you have a lot of stuff that we did it like from hour to one hour try to have different saves in case uh, a save gets corrupted it happened to me for some time let's call this one uh, test one let's save it now we are going to compile it we use this tool uh, right here called run map uh, use the simple option, you also have the expert option, but we don't need this, that is the normal one. Uh, there are also on the, n on the net some compile tools called zoner compile tools, but we won't use them for now. Uh, let this for now as normal, 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 and no at red, because red implies lightning and we haven't used light yet don't run the game because if uh, you have this on uh, it's going to pop up Half-Life and uh, it's different from using the real game it's really annoying, I prefer to run Half-Life myself it gets different, you get the HUD menu you get the weapon models uh, plus you won't have any kind of bugs and if you have, then you can know where they are, so you can solve them. Uh, leave this off. Okay. Uh, there was a schooling window. On a high level map, it can take hours. I, I made a map one time who took like 5-6 hours to compile. Uh, don't be scared, it's kinda normal. Uh, it takes a really long time. Uh, I read on a 
official of all forms that dust one took uh, I don't know if, if there was two days or three days to compile something like that well we just made our first map let's run Half-Life 1 let's see what you got you can run any map by using your console and write map your map name dot bsp which is the extension of a compiled map enter and you're going to be loaded the map and here you go our first uh, Valve Hammer Editor map hope you enjoy you can start clicking around doing some stuff hope you like it thanks to everyone at dcfan.net.ra that this is everyone who has been helping me thanks a lot see you next time